how does a rehab loan work? And what can you expect to learn about rehab loans? Also known as a 203k loan, by the way. I'm sure you heard about that. Today, we will talk about how does a rehab loan work? The difference between an eligible and ineligible improvements, eligible and ineligible properties, the two types of rehab loans that are available, the documentation and underwriting specifically regarding the contractor documentation. That's a scary one. And the best part is that the benefits for and why even consider a rehab loan. If you're looking to buy a home and struggling to find properties or competing with other buyers, especially in today's market with shortage of available homes, I got you right here. This is what we're talking about today, my friends. So make sure to stick around for the entire video because we will debunk the confusion in this conversation today. You're probably dismissing some amazing great houses and opportunities available out there and you're missing out on a perfect home for you only because the house does require some renovations and if you find yourself finding a suitable home that is affordable and in need in a rehab and you cannot come up with the additional money to make those renovations, a rehab loan might be just the right recipe for you to get into a beautiful home. And the bonus one is how does the money work, right? That's important because I think this is one of the biggest confusions that I know I had until I figured it all out. So I'm going to share all of these things with you and let's begin with number one. How does a rehab loan works right so think of it this way let's say you are purchasing a property for four hundred thousand dollars and let's say it needs a hundred thousand dollars in renovations so the actual appraisal of the property needs to be at least at five hundred thousand how will that work there's a few steps that's going to have to happen and one of these steps and we'll get into this later is the contractor right and the estimate of repairs and the scope of work what is it going to cost material labor and timelines right so when you apply for a rehab loan your appraiser will have to get a copy of your contract as well as a copy of the scope of work and then justify the value of the house because remember the rehab loan needs to cover your purchase price as well as the renovations because that's the whole point you don't want to pay for the renovations out of pocket or you just don't have the money out of pocket so this is kind of like the process so basically the bank will lend you the entire amount as if the house has been already renovated the catch is you're not getting that money for the renovations and if you stay till the end that's number six is going to be how does the money work right so let's move on to number two ineligible improvements will be outside of rehab so anything that is building from scratch on a piece of land would be ineligible eligible would be everything you can renovate from cosmetic to roof to hvac air conditioner floors kitchens bathrooms number three is the two types of two or three k loans one is a standard 203k loan the other one is a streamlined 203k loan the streamlined 203k loan has a maximum amount up to thirty-five thousand dollars, and with that loan anything major is not allowed what is allowed though is let's say you're buying a property with a leaky roof so the roof would be allowed anything that's going to keep the property safe and keep the property free of damage will be allowed so a roof replacement could be ten thousand dollar job at least right 
So if you do a streamline to a 3K loan, you can incorporate that expense into the loan and then that would be allowed on the streamlined is smaller option versus the standard loan, which is a much bigger option. So it allows for a lot more than just little things or just to keeping the property safe. So that's really a good way of thinking about the two. And then this is a disclaimer. I am not a lender. I am a real estate broker and my goal is just to give you general information and help you understand your options because I think that a lot of buyers, a lot of us, because it's so uncommon to hear that information, it's very confusing, it's very scary, it sounds very complicated, but it is absolutely not complicated at all as long as you can grasp that there's the loan amount which is for the contract purchase price and then there's an additional renovation or rehab amount of money that is being tackled on into that whole loan process but there's a catch with how the money is distributed and you have to watch till the end where i'm going to talk about that so documentation and underwriting so those are the things that the contractor that you hire is going to have to have in order for you to qualify for this loan so obviously the bank wants the contract to be licensed insured in good standings they will also want a resume from the contractor giving them a resume about their experience listing uh, three to five jobs that they've done for references the contractors estimate outlining all the materials that are going to be used what exactly the work scope is going to be how much they're going to charge are there any permits or filings required with this type of job that the house that you're purchasing is in need of homeowners or contract agreement that basically is a agreement that you have between you and the contractor so they will need to have all that and they will have to be approved by HUD in order to do the job and that's why you need that because without a hot approved contractor you will not be able to qualify for a rehab loan and that's one of the requirements so it is kind of good i actually like this idea a lot because i feel that this is a huge project whether it's a ten thousand dollar project or a three hundred thousand dollar project i want to make sure that there's another layer of protection that somebody else is verifying the information and we all know how contractors are very difficult to deal with i'm sure that all of us had an experience with a contractor at least once so we know what we're talking about right but the good news is that hud has a list of qualified and approved contractors already on their site and if you don't want to go through the trouble of sorting through contractors that you want to hire and then having them go through the process or if you don't know anyone and you are looking for a smoother type of process where you don't have to do the research you can always go to their website and see who their approved contractors are let's also talk about what properties that do qualify and properties that do not qualify Qualify. So um, that would be a one to four family homes, even if you buy a four family house, as long as it's going to be your primary residence, you are able to apply for a rehab loan. You do have to reside in the property one year when you are utilizing the rehab loan. And the one year starts from the date that you close, not the date that the construction is complete. So that's cool too. Properties that may not qualify are a lot of condos, even though they're considered to be a single family residential. The only reason that they may not qualify is if you are applying for an FHA rehab loan, a lot of the condos or FHA do not approve the condos. The condos do not approve the FHA. And by default, that is why that is the reason co-ops absolutely definitely not they're not considered to be real property they're considered to be a corporation and when you buy a co-op that means you're just buying shares of a corporation so those are kind of like the big stuff obviously no commercial properties and no non-primary resident property but the good news is you can buy a property with only three and a half percent down it needs to be renovated and there you go home ownership is available to you as well so number five what 
are the benefits for you to even consider entertaining purchasing a home that is in need of repair without actually having the money to spend for the repair and applying for a rehab loan or a 203k loan and remember you can do an fha or you can do a conventional you can purchase with as little as three and a half percent down to as much percent down as you want to so that opens the door to a lot of possibilities that you may miss on if you do not know about what we're talking about today the rehab loans and number six how does the money work that's really important so let's go back to our original example we bought the house at four hundred thousand. we need a hundred thousand dollars in renovation so we have to qualify for the entire amount because the bank is lending you money for the house as if it's already completed so we have to qualify for five hundred thousand dollars qualification of a mortgage how does the money work we go to the closing the seller receives their proceeds so the entire Entire four hundred thousand dollars that you borrow goes to whoever. Let's say the seller. The additional a hundred thousand that you need for the renovations is not being distributed to you or anyone else. At this point, the contractor that was approved to do the job for your renovation is now going to submit a distribution request. As you know, contractors need to buy material before they can start the job and a lot of times they may ask for a 50% distribution sometimes what I hear is that contractors that usually work with the two or three K loans they are already accustomed to the fact that they don't get money right away so they might be doing a little bit of work first and then get the money but I find it very hard to believe that anyone will lay out money out of their own pocket to buy a material for a job that they're doing so the rule of thumb is that the bank will split it up in 20% increments. Ah, here's another part that I like. So before they distribute any money to the contractor, guess what they're doing, which I love the most. So they have a HUD trained inspector who has a background in renovation and construction. And this is the best part because before each 20% will be distributed to the contractor, that HUD inspector goes in to inspect the job. So, ha, huh, what's happening is the HUD inspector comes in, looks at the work order, looks at all the details. They even check things like what material was used in order to do so. Let's say if the kitchen was to be 100% wood, right? And the inspector comes in and sees that the kitchen is engineered wood. Guess what? They're not getting paid until they remove that kitchen and actually replace that kitchen with whatever the job was approved for. Same thing with like two by fours or type of floorings, whatever. I mean, material really guys, I mean like, you can't get a better protection than another person coming out to inspect the job before each time a 20% distribution is being given to the contractor. And you know what even better? What's better is that the contractor knew what they were signing up for. So they can't come to you and complain and demand money from you because you're not really distributing the money. Yes, that's money that you're going to have to pay back, but that's not money that you have in your control. So you can't do anything. Now, it's also important to know that usually depending on a job, but usually let's say it's an extensive type of renovations, the bank wants the job to start no later than 30 days past closing and the whole job they want it complete in six months. Again, if the job is a much smaller job, then it's gonna be less. But I think that I'm in love with this idea of rehab loans. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them directly or in the comments. And if it's a question that better answered by a lender, I will be more than happy to pass it along to a professional who can give you more details. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this was so valuable to you. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. And I will see you in the next video.